Hello. In this video, I am going to discuss about over-reinforced section. Here, first I will explain what is a over-reinforced section and how we can identify it. How we can identify it. And then how we can analyze it. Okay. First thing is, what is a over-reinforced section? As this name mentioned, over-reinforced section means we have supplied over-reinforced here. It means the amount of reinforced reinforcement we have supplied is more than we, it needed. That's the mean of it. It means here the reinforcement can bear more strength than the concrete section can bear. It means the com maximum compression is here lower than the maximum tensile force which can be taken from the reinforced section. That's the mean of it. And there are a few advantages of, sorry, there are a few disadvantages of over reinforced sections. What are those things? Disadvantages. Disadvantages are we have waste our cost on the reinforced. It means we have supplied more reinforcement than which it needed. It is not well designed. It means we have supplied more reinforcement. It means we have not considered about the reinforcement amount which is which it need okay then i will discuss how we can identify a over reinforced section according to bs 8110 part 1 we can identify that the if the reinforced reinforcement is at the yield stage the x over d x over d ratio must be below the below or equal the 0 0.5 value it means here x means the depth of the here this is the depth of the neutral axis depth of the neutral axis and the d is the effective depth we can see is effective depth And we can see it at the BS8110 BS8110 part 1 close 3.4.4.4 this is the clause which we can see the limitation of the neutral axis with respect to the effective depth. Okay. It means if the x over d ratio is greater than the 0 0.5, we can say it as a over reinforced section. Okay. Let's check this section. I'll copy this. This is the section how we can find the neutral axis okay first is it's better to find or assume this reinforcement has been yielded okay i assume that i assume that reinforcement is at the yield stage then what happened if it is yielded what happened it means it's at the maximum strength level 
then we can take the strength it's also according to the bs 8110 part 1 t equal it means t means tensile strength or the tensile force is equal to 0 0.87 into fy into as here If Y means the strength of the maximum strength of the reinforcement and the AS is the area of steel. This is strength, strength. This is the area. Okay. We can take it as. Zero point eight seven into four sixty. It is four sixty. It has been given. Sometime we take it as five hundred here. Four sixty into A C is equal nine hundred eighty one point seven. It has been given because there are two T25 bars and the area of it is equal to the 981.6 981.7 and the, then the answer is 392.876 Newton here the unit is Newton because the there is no unit for that 0 0.87 for Fy the unit is Newton per square millimeters and the area is square millimeters then the final answer is in the unit of Newton okay let's think that as this one is at the yield stage we assume that the concrete also give the compression strength just equal as the tensile strength okay we can take the compressive strength as 0 0.45 into fcu means the strength of the concrete into 0 0.9 ac 0 0.9 ac we can see this 0 0.9 value in the bs 8110 part 1 figure 3.3 .3. you can see that in a figure in the in that figure it's mentioned that the effective area is 0 0.9 AC okay then you can find it as 0 0.45 into 25 into 0 0.9 into 150 is the width of the beam section and we have to find X X means the depth of the neutral axis then how we can find it here as this internal forces are at the balance stage the compression value the comp or the compression force must be equal to the tensile force so we can equal this value the answer of this for the value of this 392.876 value as as t equals c it means tensile strength equals compression is compression 392.876 equals to 0 0.45 into 25 into 0. 0. 0.9 into 150 x you can find that x equals 259 by using a calculator you can take the answer x as 259 okay now we know that if that reinforcement is at the yield stage the 
neutral axis must be located at the depth of 259 millimeters from the top of the beam section. Okay, let's find the x over d ratio. x over d equals here 259 over 300. It is equal to 0 0.86. It is greater than the limitation 0 0.5 according to BS 8110 part 1. 0 0.86 is greater than the limitation 0 0.5. So we can we can take this section as over reinforced it means the reinforcement is not at the yield stage it means it will fail before the yield stage of the reinforced this type of sections we call them as over reinforced sections over reinforced sections.